Hey, Mike. What's up, Sean? You got any new clothes? Like the emperor? Emperor's new clothes? You know there's a Spock Spirit song? It was on, uh, I think, Octane. For anyone that's watching, uh, it was the second Spock Spirit CD after Neil Morse left um, when Nick DiVirgilio took over for lead vocals. Actually, no, I don't think it was on. Was it on 10? Um, anyways, Mike loves Neil Morse. Um, <laughs> this beer is Treehouse's Emperor Julius. And it just says Emperor Julius stands tall alongside very <laughs> hazy because that makes sense, at the very top of the Treehouse family tree. So I assume this stands above King J -J -J Julius. I wish they had renamed their stuff. Me too. But I feel like I just made Mike very annoyed before this video. Because I'm like, if J, -J, J Julius is double dry hop Julius, essentially, or dry hop Julius. And then King Julius is the double IPA version of Julius. And then King J, -J, -J Julius is the double dry hop, double IPA version of it. Then what's this? This is barrel aged Julius? Anyways, and we got it in our $3 million glassware. Um, well, I just tried to break. Yeah, he almost broke it. Good thing he has two more. Don't break into our houses. So this is extremely like, like, Luscious. This yeah. looks like it has pretty heavy mouthfeel. You can just see it's like looks thick. The head is very, very just. It, it looks like liquid. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just very, very <laughs> fluffy. It looks like liquid. Well, the head doesn't look like it's. It, it just. It, it almost has like waves. Like it doesn't look like cloudy stuff. If you I know? fucking said it looked like liquid, I would get destroyed right now. Well, I'm better at, insul at insults than you are. So next. <laughs> I mean, it looks just basically like like opaque juice. Yeah, it looks it looks amazing. So, uh, get those. Let's do it. Holy shit! So, full disclosure, I've only had this out of a can. My wife drank the rest. Um, I drank this out. Of, I lied. I literally only had like two sips of this. Carrie owes me a Julius. <laughs> Tell her to go buy more tomorrow. This smells insane. It does. I mean, it's got, it's, I mean, it's like soft fruits, but a ton of them. It is everything you can think of as far as like tropical citrus, right? It got almost a hint of vanilla. It's like, um, like candy, like starburst. A hundred percent. Did you, did you, did you read that? It actually says starburst on the can. Does it say starburst? <laughs> it does. Does it? it? It said it in the, uh. I didn't the, see that. I, oh, I, I didn't read the whole thing. Oh, either. sorry. It said it in the... Um, oh, yeah. No, Orange Starburst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. God, I didn't, dude, I didn't read the whole thing. I know. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just busting your balls. Oh. It, it does say it, though. Remember? Fucking hell, man. That's twice, twice in a row. And both times grabbing the can. <laughs> Can't take Mike anywhere. Nice. Well, don't use a nice glassware. I'll break it. We have to use the nice glassware. We're doing treehouse beers. Fair enough. Right. Up after. Anyways, um, no, everything I said, it's super soft smelling. It's It just looks cloudy. It looks pillowy. It's, just been like, it's a big bubble gum, like Bazooka Joe. You know? It's the treehouse smell that I'm used to. Yep. Right? Want to do it? Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers, bud. Don't break your glass. Don't threaten me with a good time. Mm. Wow. Do we like IPAs again? <laughs> you, know what this, you know what this does? It, it brings me kind of back to the first time I was having New England IPAs. Mm -hmm. The first time you had Julius? Yeah. It, 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 it give me those kind of vibes because, like, at the time, it was just so, um, it was very, very new. All those flavors were new to me because IPAs to me were a certain thing. Um, but this is reminding me of those old... Um, those old Trios beers I used to drink a lot. I remember you saying when we did the first green review, I think it was green. It was, it was a Trios beer. And you said after, like later, I think it was a couple of years later, you're like, I remember doing that review and being like, I like this, but you were like completely like unsure of what it was because it was the first time ever having like a real. It was, um, it was very green. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I remember. And mm. the mouthfeel, it is on the verge of pillowy. It's, it's, it's 
thick too. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's milkshakey. Yeah, but soft. Yeah, and it's just the soft fruits are there, um, like soft or, like oranges, soft like the starburst is there, the papaya, like sherbet almost. Sherbet, yeah, and bubble gum, big time bubble gum, mm. yeast, just that. That treehouse yeast, that, that yeah. bubblegum yeast, which which some other breweries are are doing because there have been a few mystery beers. I'd be like, this is treehouse, and it wasn't meat treehouse, but yeah. But I'm getting that, almost that yeasty, like that mouthfeel get out of the yeasty stuff, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you said, this brings me right back to that too. Like this is yeah. like just a mind blowing. <sighs> it's fluffy and just awesome. I haven't been like this boned up over a treehouse beer in a long time. Same, same. And like, obviously both of us ha- have been getting out of like the, like the haze craze, but um, this is something this, I also haven't had an IPA. You this, said yesterday. No, no, no. Oh. That, that's been this less bitter. No, that's not less bitter. Maybe that's been like, oh, this is not very bitter. No. Um, but I, 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 I've had ones that I liked a oh, lot. Yeah. I haven't had one that sort of like like affected my brain in a way that just like sort of like almost like like if I'm listening to like Brick by Ben Folds, it sort of slows me down in a way. It's a it weird thing. And, it, and this beer sort of slows me down. Like I'm like, whoa. Yeah. And, and I'm trying to savor it. I don't want to smash it up. Right. Even though I could. Right, but it's all yeah. So it's also eight point eight percent. It's also like you know whatever fucking seventeen tiers of Julius it is. So this is supposed to be a very special beer as it is. Yes. So like it's not like something that's going to be mass produced, right, or anything like that. So they're gonna there's probably a lot of care that went into actually tweaking this beer compared over the years, right? Because it actually says that like fifteen years of, of of brewing is the culmination of this. So it makes sense that this is. <sighs> oh boy. Yeah, I'm like I said. I, I'm sort of at a loss of words. I'm, I'm, I, I love it. I really do. This is this is the, one of the better trio beers I've had in years, for sure. Hundred percent. Um, it it feels special. It tastes special. This it just has. It has I mean I I don't I, like I, I'm I'm sure I'm missing things because no. I'm just blown away. Rest of the tasting notes. We'll treat this sort of like a hot butcher review. We'll just read the tasting notes and see if we got it. Rich orange juice. I said orange, orange starburst. I knew the starburst was on there, but it says orange starburst. Melon, melon high chews. Have you ever had high chews? It's a high chew. High chews are sort of like like they're like tappy, but I think they're Asian. I think from like Japan or something like that. Oh, and then uh, overripe and overripe mango. Uh, I think I said mango. Um, I was thinking mango. Yeah, and it is this this the summation of almost fifteen years of refinement to our unique style of hobby beer, our life's work and joy. Valid. There's no can on date. I have no idea when this was canned. I picked this up myself last weekend, but it's drinking. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. I I like said I'm like I'm I want to crush this, but I can't. I'm being very very gentle, taking small sips. It's really just it blows me away. Yeah, what an awesome beer. Um. Yeah, I don't know what else to say other than if if you are near Treehouse. A treehouse location because now there's like 17 of them across Massachusetts um, and Connecticut now I think too um, yeah I think there's 17 no? okay yeah, right better right. uh, go if you can get this I would highly recommend getting this uh, I, I would I would I would think this is very trade worthy too mm-hmm. uh, if you're doing trades this is very 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 trade worthy um, if you like Julius if you like King Julius if you like Julius and all that other stuff this is this is next level shit. Also, if you want to pay for Sean's daughter's college, let me know. I'll send you a glass. Oh, that's... <laughs> Did you just offer to send somebody your glasses no. to this, pay for... This class. Kaylee's college? This class. I, you said let you know, so I took that as I get to keep my two glasses, then nope. you sell your two glasses to pay for... Because nope. to be the best uncle ever, you would pay for Kaylee's college. Nope. No, no, okay. nope, no, whatever. Nope. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay. Yeah, math, I could, I wouldn't, but I can't. <laughs> so there we go. You could with your glasses. Oh, fair enough. Actually, no, it'd probably take all four of them, given how expensive. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> Who has a hundred thousand dollars and wants four glasses? <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be somebody on the internet. Um, 
Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, I don't know if we really explained this beer too much other than it's fucking delicious. Uh, but if you ever had a Treehouse beer, I think the tasting notes, everything we said, it all kind of runs, that lineage of brewing runs through their beer as in general. This just kind of takes it to the absolute next level. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and especially like a lot of a lot of people have sort of caught up to what Treehouse was doing. You know what I mean? It's not like what they're what they're doing is like unique anymore. This tastes special. This tastes unique, mm-hmm. but agree. familiar. It's weird. It's hard to explain. Yeah. No. 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 I. I it, but familiar. Yeah. No. I, I, that totally makes sense. Yeah. It's yeah. it's what you love, but elevated. Yeah, I agree. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit those notification bells, nerdsense.net. You can get to all those places. And I'm Sean. I'm Mike. And, and this, this is Nerd Sense. Nerd Sense.